Ah, okay. I think I've finally figured everything out. I spent the entire day yesterday <clears throat> trying to figure out what exactly was wrong and how to fix it. Everything looks good. So, there was a couple solutions. The main one was getting rid of the screen tearing. But in order to do that, I had to go into windowed mode. But then windowed mode would run like a turd. But to fix that, you either have to disable the drivers that let the game uh, detect your controller, because apparently it's constantly checking for, for controllers, so it slows down the game. So you either disable that and have no controller, or you do this nifty little trick. You go to graphic settings, yeah, you go down here, and you go to ambient occlusions, or a, a, occlusion? I don't know. You turn that shit off, and it apparently makes it run smooth now. So, uh, yeah, game looks nice. But, um, <clears throat> yep, pretty much that. Wait, did I not go into the Wester Sand? Why haven't I been in the Wester Sand? Ooh. Oh, never mind, I'm dumb. I was looking at the wrong map. Okay, so I've explored this very minimally. I think for this area, I can set him to use something a little cheaper. The good old fire. Oh, but you. For you, actually, I might just keep that. Because those little buggers are going to be a little bit tough. Hopefully they don't absorb water. You'd think they would. Being plants and all. Oh. And I have officially ordered the Japanese PS2 and the international version of this game. The game itself is actually being shipped now. It'll be here in about a month. And the average shipping time for the company who's going to be yeah, giving me the PS2. It takes them around two to three days. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. <clears throat> and now, yes, I could just emulate it and uh, put an English patch on the game. But... This being my favorite game of all time, I want every version of it I can get. I still have to track down the uh, demo disc. I, I recall, I can't remember what it was, like what it was on, but it's on another game. But I want to track that down. I want to play every version at least once. And also when it comes to uh, emulating is like, I don't want to pirate and emulate a game if I don't actually own it. Now in some cases where I can't actually get my hands on a copy anymore, I'll just pirate it. But this thing isn't out of reach. So perhaps maybe in the, maybe in the future I'll, I'll uh, actually grab the international version and emulate it with an English patch and all that good stuff. But not anytime soon. Hey, maybe I'll even learn how to read some of this stuff. Recognize certain words. I can already, yeah, envision certain quests that will become very difficult. Like in the Imperial City. Trying to get those pine wood chops. That'll be a pain in the butt.
I don't know exactly what I'm doing here in this area, but we're just going to explore for a little bit. I've been meaning to stream all day, but I just couldn't really get myself going with it. As of late, I've been finding that uh, with this game, I don't actually want to play it until I load it up. Like, as soon as I load it up, I suddenly want to start playing. Because I've been procrastinating all day, and now it's getting late. It's like 8.39 p.m. I'm getting sleepy. I'm not feeling well. I'm fighting something off. Nothing big, just annoying. Like a cold or a very mild flu. But, um... What was I saying? Yeah, I decided to load up the game, see how I feel, and literally as soon as I got to the main menu, I was like, yeah, I gotta stream this now. I got put in the mood to game. So I guess that means... Even if I don't want to, I should just load up the game regardless, and then I'll suddenly be in the mood to game. Get blocked. Bird. Bird is not the word today. The word is... Oh, another bird. That's what the word is. Now what, what even are my levels? Okay, so we're level 18. Or 18 to 17. Why is everyone else higher level? Oh, that's because we... Oh, that's why, that's why. It's because we just got off the ship and it's going to scale up your other allies. That's right. Oh, hey. We're going to be hearing that sweet, sweet sound effect real soon. I I'm so unbelievably excited to play the international version. Like, fuck, even if I won't be able to read anything or understand it all, it's going to be so fun. It's going to be part of it. It's going to really test my knowledge of the game. Like, I will not claim to know much about this game. But I'm confident enough that I'll be able to figure it out. But now, it's going to be a long way. It's going to be about a month. So I've got to be sure to not... get myself super hyped for too long and just kind of... lose it. Because, you know, hype can only be... A, can You can only have hype for so long before you start getting... Before you start losing it, really. No other way to put it. So there, there is a method to my madness of just wandering around aimlessly. Like, I don't know where or when I... Ooh, hey. Okay, so I don't actually know when... Or not when, but uh, where I'll find certain things like moats. But I'm hoping to find moats and reflect moats and all that stuff. Or just some random pieces of equipment that I might be able to use later. I'm just hoping to find some stuff. Because if we can find enough moats and at least one reflect moat... Oh yeah, we got three reflecting moats. So we have one of these. We use one of these. And then we spam arrow motes, and every AoE moat we have, we should be able to take down the first demon wall really quickly. Oh yeah, another thing that's going to be a pain in the butt for um, menus and stuff is going to be selling loot. Actually, really quick, I'm just going to see what everything's going to look like. Language. Oh. It doesn't change anything. So it just doesn't change the language at all? It's only... Hmm. I thought changing the language would actually change the text and everything. I suppose that has to do with where I buy the game. I'm also really looking forward to the toughened up enemies. Tour. Ooh, it sounds interesting. All right, I'm not gonna 
do this. I'm not going to spoil this sound effect. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil the sound effects. Why is it going back to that? Like, I keep it at original soundtrack. Just the uncompressed version. Like, reorchestrated is fine and all, but I don't actually like it all that much. I'm also still trying to track down a old flat screen TV for a reasonable price. Not an HD TV because I've I've dealt with PS2s on HD TVs and they look horrible. They look like garbage. But um uh, okay, so <clears throat> an older flat screen TV is what I'm looking for like just after the CRTs. You know, the kind where it's really hard to see the screen, or you can't really see the screen at an angle, you have to look dead on. I'm kind of looking for one of those, because I was house-sitting for my grandmother once, and I brought over my PS2, and uh, I was playing Final Fantasy X. I beat it there, and it looked incredible on that thing. It looked so much better than a CRT. I'm hoping to kind of uh, recreate that. Where with a newer TV, there's just too many pixels. Doesn't look right. Looks almost fuzzy. Like I was trying to help my uh, little brother with a Jack and Daxter getting a few pre precursor orbs, and I was having such a hard time looking at the screen. It was so f blurry and everything. And the CRT is my CRT is a little bit better, but it's also a little too big for its resolution. So I'm looking for something that's just better overall. And also has a headphone jack. Oh, hey. Because right now I have this uh, um, adapter that lets me plug my headphones into the red and white plugs. But the issue with that is, is I have no volume control. So I gotta find something that'll let me adjust my volume. Oh. A some storm. We're heading. We're gonna head to the bottom. Okay, we gotta go up the slope. Let me take a look at here. This stuff: amber armlets, gauntlets. Tourmaline Ring Charge. Yes, please. Jade Collar. Wait, where is the uh, Turtle Shell Choker? I think it was back here. It's not back here, they might have already gotten it. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Either just restore more MP. We're gonna go for more magic potency. Gotta make that stuff more potent. Increased duration, absolutely. Soul Eater. <laughs> So I don't want to grab certain things because he's going to be taking a bit of a U-turn in his uh, setup soon. After we take out Bayless or whatever his name was. Get him to have that at least.
That could be very useful right there. Because it needs HP, so I should be yeah, seeking out HP boosts. Vox and Poisoner, okay. Oh. Hmm. Well, I think for the time being, we're just going to leave him be. Yes, please. I will most certainly want Dispel as soon as possible. Reverse, yeah. I'm oh, having my bracelets too tight. Hold up. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, I was going for something over here, huh? What could it have been? Oh, maybe that. Oh, that's it. Oh, no, that no, that's not it. Could it have been it? I don't know. Well, we'll reduce the magic cost. And we'll get this one out of the way so we can get the HP boost whenever we can. There we go, that opens up a few doors. Oops. Um, now I guess I can do a little map here, but I don't like doing it. Was I one-shotting them before? No, I, yeah, I was. Your protect's not gonna protect you here, burb. Oh gosh, it's protecting you pretty good, actually. Okay, I'm gonna wanna... Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna take this path like I was initially gonna do. We're gonna take... We're gonna go straight. We gonna go straight. Nope, smack him. Where are you running to, coward? Coward. I'll let you live for now. Nothing like a night nighttime coffee that's been watered down because I'm dumb and couldn't figure out the ratios for some reason. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Stay away from bro. Stay away from bone bro. I'm unsure, but he might be immune to resurrection stuff. But it's early enough that he might not be. All right, Vaughn, what do you got? You should have rays. Yes, you do. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Vaughn, you're leading the charge against uh, Skelebro. You're going to use rays on him. We're going to back you up. Oh, shoot. Um, um, here, Phoenix down. He tough. Do I have any AoEs? Sleep, silence, blind? Not yet, but I think we'll be getting some very soon. Oh no, wait, what was I gonna get? Shoot. I'm having second thoughts of what I wanted Balthier to do. Darn it. You're gonna be a time mage, that's right. What were you going to do? 
I have a few ideas. Like, one of them is to be a Shakiri so you can deal low damage but hit them constantly, keep their aggro, be quick and tanky. And another one is to be a foe breaker so you can use like uh, oil bombs and then I can use Arador. But I don't think I need to dedicate his entire class to just oil. I can get others to toss oil like myself. Run! That's something that I've noticed. The, the Entites seem less aggro. Or maybe they're not less aggro. Maybe maybe I just didn't catch on to how they get aggroed while I was younger. Or when I was younger. Because I always thought that they would attack you if you did anything. But it might only be if you do any type of magic. Oh, I didn't even notice a path there. Alright, well, we're where we, we are where we should be. Oh, get one shot. Yeah, the mage playthrough is only because I've never done it, and I, I want to see how powerful I can get, take out big groups of enemies, that kind of thing. Really stack the strategy. Not stack the strategy, but... Uh, set things up for high damage kind of thing Oh, I know where we are. Nowhere that I should be. Oh, loud. Cool. Get that's enough exploration for me. Time to go where we should. Now just for you guys, if we get to the right spot, I will spawn a uh, rare enemy. Takes a while. I don't remember how many I have to kill, but I think I have to kill... I think I have to chain like 60 of a certain enemy. Then he'll spawn guaranteed, but then there's like a small percent chance he'll drop a katana. But if you do spend the time in farm the katana, you get pretty overpowered for the first, uh, for the next little while. <clears throat> oh, I was like, what the hell is that? It's huge. Get bonked. Go Vaughn. Stabbing him in the face. Oh. I just realized my error. <clears throat> Don't mind me. I'm just I'm just going for a jog. Stop it. Bad dogs. I'm going for a jog. Don't mind me. There we go. Heck, it really be blowing. What do I have my gambit set for when I... Okay, yeah, he's set to automatically attack. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Now, I'm somewhat hesitant to use my dark motes, but then again, they really don't do that much damage. Hmm. No, I think I'll save them because they'll stack up. Uh, if you uh, didn't piece it together with uh, what's it called? Reflect. Oh. The reason why I want to use reflect and use my moats. No, what are you doing? Okay, the reason why I want to use the reflect and then the moats with specifically AoEs is because you can you toss the moats on your characters. Like on your allies, you cast it at your allies, and then it will bounce between all of you. And it will, if everyone tosses something and it bounces between you, you'll hit the opponent about 12 times with three casts or four casts. It pretty much doubles or triples your cast, essentially. Where am I? Oh, it's right here. No, oh, whatever. Who aggroed the entite? Like I was, I was sure I held flea. Hmm. Like I, I was certain I would have gotten it before the entite would have seen us. Perhaps it was just the act of attacking in its presence. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I haven't noticed any screen tearing or, perform or performance issues. But yeah, my verdict for this game is um, it's just poorly optimized. But it's still pretty damn good. Don't let the desert sun get the best of you. If you're low on supplies, now's the time to stock up. Sure thing, buddy. Let's go. Let's grab stuff. Ah. Nice. Nice. I don't think we need that many, but I'll just hold on. To mm. I think I'll sell these. Oh, first aid kit, sure. Phoenix down in a potion, nice. What do we got, ancient sword, okay. Bouge, a wizard staff, oh, six more. That's nice, no. I will most certainly want that. Yes! Yes! Kira, Arrow, Gravity, Poach. Hmm. Okay, I know we'll want these at some point. No, we won't. Probably won't be doing that in this playthrough. Okay. No, we'll do that after. I want to see the increase. Perfect. Oh, I don't know. Let's start with Bosch. Okay, it's one increase. Oh, I can one point in magic power. Two. 
free. Awesome. Not for him, it really doesn't matter all that much. The only thing that magic power is going to do, as far as I know, is make decoy hit more easily. <laughs> like he needs that. Okay, so all we need is for him. Good thing I didn't no oh, license. Good thing I didn't spend all that much on him. So I can just toss that. There. Like there isn't anything he necessarily really needs at the moment. This damage this damage boost is gonna be really nice for him. We're going to try and keep one of everything. If you're westward bound, travel light, boy, or lightly, boy. Not all the races you'll meet in the sand sea are of civilized variety. And mind the weather. Nice clear days, the elements come out to in droves. Oh, nice clear days, the elements come out in droves. Oh, elementals. I was reading it wrong. Come out in droves, what does that mean? Don't want my customers dying. Bad for business. Oh, I'm glad you've got our best intentions in mind. Oh, hey. Oh, what is that on my stuff? Is that a horse? I don't know. It's got... I don't know. It's, like, from the side, it looks like a horse, but at the front, it looks like a... Summon of some kind. All right, what do we got here? So black magic. I can now use arrow I thought aqua was taking 12 points to cast oh, Okay, so it does it just shows the base here So we're gonna set it to arrow now just for the AoE. Probably do a bit of farming too. Farming for succulent fruits. The fruits of our labor. You know, so I think the voice acting for this game is pretty much top notch. I like it. Character animations, facial expressions, the subtleties are nice. Now these guys were weak to wind, right? They sure are. 
All right, let's see the dabblage. Ooh, yeah. That's some nice dabblage. But what are we gonna, what are we gonna do with this? Now I'm just realizing, when I'm walking around with a fully charged spell, you kind of hear the sound of electricity or static coming from your character. Kablammy! Oh, I thought it was going to be a healing one. I don't know why. Now again, I don't recall this being in the original, but this is something that I don't like. Right here. The addition. I, I prefer just exploring everything, but honestly, if it's here, I'm just going to grab it. Oh, maybe I can find a mod which removes those. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to set it to th thunder. And I'll manually input arrow. Actually, how much damage are we going to be doing? Let's start with... Yeah, let's start with Blizzard. Because I'm assuming the higher costing ones are going to do more damage. So 223. Now, of course, they can be resistant as well. 182. One ninety. Okay, that's worth it. We're gonna go with fire because using the one that costs the least amount will be very beneficial in the long run. Because I will be running out of MP eventually, and I want to prolong it as quick as long as I can. But with both of these dudes attacking, it'll it'll make quick work. It's about as much damage as they do with their weapons. Avon is falling behind now. It's going to be interesting having a times two speed button on the PS2. Now, like, streaming this game is all fine and dandy, but this is definitely something that I tend to prefer just playing on my own though there are certain experiences that I want to share I don't remember what my motivation to share this one was but I'm not gonna stop till this one's done I've already started and I'm gonna finish it but when it comes to the international version I am going to stream that one because there's a chance I might get stuck and I'm hoping that someone in chat might actually help or something like that stuck in the sense where navigating menus or questions that kind of thing
Vassler, welcome to our team. I don't know if I should change your gambits. What do you got? You don't have Traveler on here anymore, do you? Oh, he does. He does. So we can uh, definitely abuse that. Expose. Soul Eater. So consume HP, deal damage. Lower foe's strength. Telekinesis. Lower foe's defense. Okay. You know, I don't think we're going to farm succulent fruit. Not really a point to it. At least right now. Stay. God damn it. Oh, hey. That's right. <gasps> Kira. 40. Well, I think I had 30% for a reason. Let's go 20. Make a nice in-between. Alright, okay. For you boys, I'm gonna be using some arrow. Yep, get him there. Go get him. Corral them. Yeah, there you go. Corral them. Good job. Alright, Vaughn. Show us your cura. Gonna go to in the inventory. Let's sort. Now for you, we need to be decreasing your magic cost. But for this, we're gonna focus on HP. You gotta have that HP though. Gain MP after defeating a foe. Perfect. Because uh, Bosch has been having difficulty with uh, MP. 700, 700. Alright, so we're getting about 700 or so. 6, 7. Oh yeah, the PS2 that, we're, that I'm getting, it's a, a thick boy PS2. So what I found with the company that I'm buying it from is um, they take pretty much picture-perfect photos of what you get, and um, what you see is what you get. If it's missing something, it means you don't get it. So missing a memory card, you don't get it. Missing a cord, you don't get it. But what I managed to find one which has a memory card and a actual remote which I thought was pretty cool cuz I could actually I could use the remote for watching DVDs and also I wanted to make sure that it came with a memory card because I'm unsure if an if a American PS2 memory card would work on the Japanese console
<laughs> oh shit. Vossor kind of scared me. I was like, what the hell is that? Oh, hey. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch the golden armlet between the characters. Our amulet. Be between the allies. So he can't even use it yet. So for the time being... He's going to have it. Rose Crusade. Oh, we're getting some stutters. But we know that's just how the windowed works, windowed mode. Oh, you wasted your dark moat. Why? Why did you do this to me? Why? Okay, so we're going to try and get a chain of 60 with these boys. And you can. It generally takes about one full lap around the map. I know, it rhymed. It's a 53... Eight. So this is where things are going to get interesting with uh, this playthrough. Now we're getting AoEs. AoEs is generally when we're going to start getting strong. Oh. Shoot. There. I wonder if I have him set to... Like, I wonder if I have the license to have... God, I cannot English. I wonder if he's gaining MP from damaging his opponents. There's no way to know for sure right now. Yeah, beat him up. Always impressed with the environments, the backgrounds. Now, what do you boys take? Fire, huh? Perfect. Yeah, character makes a sparking lightning sound when he's charged up. Yeah, this mage thing will also make um, certain areas I used to struggle with a little bit more tolerable. Or easier to go through. At least with that, I can damage both of them. <laughs> Got him. Oh, hey, a thing.
Here we go. So apparently you can get to the port of Belfenhelm from Fawn Coast. But um, also my brother says that you don't get to actually go into the port. It's blocked off by guards or something or people. But it's really cool how the game lets you do that. Lets you reach areas early. Gives you a taste. Oh, shoot. Okay, that still works. All right. <clears throat> oh shoot um hmm Okay, so fire and ice seems to be these guys' is bane. Level 36, Scythe Mantis. Ooh. And that's the extent of this area. Essentially. For now. Look at that 2D picture. Never used to notice it. Oh, well, I guess we're going for this one, not the one I was facing. Oh, I'm sorry. Fish, don't do it. Hmm. You gotta love that level up sound. Ooh. Oh yeah, shoot, I have to build, oh my god, I was talking about how I had to build a chain of 60 with these guys, and I went off on a little adventure, killing frogs and slimes. Oops. Alright, yeah, we're gonna spawn the rare enemy. Uh, he will spawn right here. Right in the middle. So we gotta go around here, explore everything, and just kill Urutanyansa. Get that chain up to 60. Nothing like a cool breeze to cool you off, huh? Oh, another one's joining the fray, huh? Ooh, that damage. 
Gotta love it. Hmm. If I recall, I can get a, uh, what's it called? It's a knife that drains, I think it's, it's a knife that applies sap, I believe. I'm pretty sure you get it as a regular treasure in this little area. Can someone do the thing? What is it called in this one? Oh. I was looking for alarm clock. Oh no, I broke the chain again. God damn it. Whatever, we're gonna explore first. We're gonna explore everywhere and then we'll work on the chain. Excuse me, what was that? Oh, hey, katana. Oh, that's where I was farming the katana. I was farming it in the original PS2. Because it was the earliest I could get one. I forgot that they allowed you to get one so early in this version. I recall there's like a dragon bro here. And I gotta kill him swiftly. Because he'll flee. Why did you do that? Why? Oh. This where it's, it's uh, 100 out of 10 chain. Well, it was 100 in the international version. Hmm. I don't know what a... It might have been 100, actually. Yeah, you might be right. I just remember it being a lot. I thought it was 60. Oh, yeah. I, of, I have officially ordered the international version and the PS2. In fact, the international shipped out today. It'll be here in about a month. And I've only just been realizing the difficulties I might have with it. Like not being able to navigate menus and all that to good stuff. But nothing to worry about. Like I'll figure it out. But I'll at least play the original International on the PS2 once. I'll at least play it once. And then just continue playing it on my own time kind of a thing. And then for live streams or something, I might emulate it with an English patch. If I really, really enjoy it. As far as I know, it's supposed to be harder than these, harder than the other ones. I'm definitely looking forward to it. And hey, no screen tearing. Okay. And I can probably expect some lag here and there when we get the PS2 version because the version of the PS2 I'm getting is the big boy PS2 the fat boy one and what I found is the thick boy PS2 tends to stutter more like it, 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 appears, it, it seems to have less power to it less oomph compared to the slim when it came to the Slims, they were like 60 bucks more and they didn't come with any controllers or, or uh, memory cards or any of that good stuff. Where the Thick Boy did. I recall wanting to farm your scales. What did I need your scales for at one point?
and I know an end type can spawn right in here. So I'm gonna take my leave. Get wrecked. Sure. Ooh, more HP. Can always use that. Okay. Um... I don't know what I actually want. I guess I could make my way up here. Eventually get that big old boost in MP, or not MP, health. Now Vaughn, you desperately need a turn on this. Because Bosch has pretty much gotten all the stuff he absolutely needs right away. So he doesn't need that anymore. So I can give you the golden armlet for now. Where you have a lot of things that you need to do if you're gonna become any if you're even if you're gonna become somewhat efficient. Oh hell yeah, look at that item. Ooh, that's nice. I don't see any practical use for it. Well that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to organize a little bit. Man, how, how much did you have? You had 32. Physical attack damage. You do a lot of attacking, so you might as well, right? He's going to be a time battle mage at some point, so he's going to have a crossbow. Although I don't think he'll actually use it. He's probably going to stick with his stuff. Don't lunge at me. I'll teach you to lunge at me. It's rude. Hmm. You know what? The dagger might actually be near those crates, if I recall. But I'm not sure which version it was in. The versions are kind of just melding together in my mind. But I have found that this version has a lot more really powerful things found in chests. Or treasures, I meant. Rarely is it an actual chest. 1400. Nice. It's a nice little bit of dabblage. Oh, cool. So I pretty much nearly get all of my magic back if I hit enough enemies in a row. Wait, did I literally just get Reflect? Hold up. Did I get Reflect Moat or did I actually get Reflect? I can't remember what it was. Class does. Oh. Shit, I actually did get Reflect. That's awesome. Although, no one can use it right now. But that's fine. We got a couple moats. I got my plans. Though I don't recall if there's any way I can farm arrow moats in this area. I think my only option, my only option for farming arrow moats was back in the... Not Hanai Mai. The Lushu Mines. Lushu Mines. Nice. 
no one's been tri attacked, so so that's nice. Oh, hey, you, buddy, um, big boy. Uh, yeah, I don't want to tussle with you. You're scary, and I don't like it. I see that other dude showing up around the corner. Yeah, there you go. I saw you on the map. Don't think you can sneak up on me. My brain is too big for you. I know your every move. I even know what you're thinking. And it is nothing. Oh, hey, there was actually something. A remedy. There we go. Bosch is almost self-sustaining with his magic. Almost. Musk stick. Nasty. Now, in the sense of the Antite might just pop around the corner any moment. Just gonna... Oh my god, that scared me. Okay, now I'll keep an eye on the map. I don't think that's him. Yet. On the other side here. Nope. Okay. Oh! No, get out of the range. I have no idea what range it can start doing stuff at. Vaughn, why aren't you healing me? I'm frail. I've been weakened. Don't you silence me. I'm immune to your silencing bowl shirt. Oh, damn, I was hoping you'd be in range. Oh, we're almost halfway there. Oh, did I get dark motes? Oh no, I used dark moat. Oh, shoot, what are you doing over here? Alright, so it's traveling. Well, I'm gonna move on here. Carrying on. Oh, we could go there. 
But going in the middle would probably bring me to some enemies that I would break my chain on. So we're going to get this chain going. Or we're going to finish this chain, kill the rare enemy, and then explore the rest of this. Man, I've had a slight headache all day. It's quite irritating. That constant pressure inside your skull. It's not even that bad, it's just enough to get you a little, eh. Yeah. Oh no. Right. So I know what's over there. That'll break my chain. So we've got to be careful when it comes to the enemies that we're approaching. Now, when I was farming the katana, I spent hours doing this. Okay, what am I doing? Damn. Yep, having that uh, MP yeah, regen after you kill an enemy has been incredibly beneficial. Bosh hasn't run out of MP yet now because of it. He's now self-sufficient if there's enough targets nearby. But if it's a singular target and it doesn't die, then it might be losing some MP. But if I can further reduce the cost... That'll be really good. Now for him, he it costs like twenty for him to cost to cast Kira. Sorry, I keep saying cost all the time here. It takes quite a bit from to cast stuff. So we're gonna fix that. Okay. Got a bit of magic potency and a tiny bit of health. Off in that direction. Over here we got a little bit of physical attack. We're going to fill out this little corner here, except for that. We're going to get all that stuff. I'm sure I'll be getting that eventually, not super far in the future. Now for you. Slow, immobilize, Kira. Oh, well, I'll give you a Kira just so you can use it in a pinch. Silence, that'll be, that'll be useful. Protect, shell, shore. Reflect to seal. Okay, yeah, there you go. Can use a handful of these just for extra wiggle room. And when you need it, you'll be able to use that. There we go. <clears throat> and here I was going to be saving his license points. Pfft. Am I in the right area? This is the area. Oh, hey, um, bad, bad news bears. Get out of here. Don't one-shot me. Don't one-shot me, bro. Don't do it. Don't do that, bro. 
I don't appreciate it. Oh yeah, our boy will spawn in this area. God damn it, they weren't within range. In time, at least. Close. I'm feeling pretty close to being done here. So I think once we spawned this enemy and dispatched it, of course, save, that's when we'll end it here. Again, just not feeling too well. Can only handle so much at a time for now. Even if it's not much. I'm really happy to be playing this again. Get blocked. Don't do that. What do I got here? Eco herbs. Chronos tier. Yeah, again, I'm still unsure of what I want Balthier's position to be. Like, I want him at the very least to be able to cast uh, Decoy. So we'll see if there's a melee class that will let him do that. As far as, it's a green magic, right? And As far as I know, most classes have green magic. Might have been 80, I uh, think about it. But who was put to sleep? Vaughn, do your healing. Oh, come on, he was totally within range of that. You can't bullshit me out of that one. Nah, it's a lie. Here I am arguing with a game which... Um, it was obviously not within range, and here I am complaining. I forgot to explore this last ring here. So we're gonna go here and hope for the best. Flee in case there's the wrong type of enemy. Nope, looks like we're good.
Now I'm very unsure about the middle area. I don't quite recall. So we're going to play it safe and just backtrack. Yeah, now that I'm done binge watching a certain series, I'll probably be able to do this more often. Actually, no, I don't even want to risk try attack. Alright, so there's a small chance that the enemy is there now. I'm still unsure what it was. It might be a hundred, like Jorgen says. So we'll check. Gotcha. Yeah, we a little bugger. And heck, even if it is 100, we're still really close to 100 now. Not really close, but we're getting there. We be getting there. 16 more to go. Another oh, musk stick. Something to sell. I don't remember when exactly I started the keeping at least one of everything, but it started with just the loot. Like, I remember the time I started, but I don't remember exactly... I don't... Like, I remember the instance of doing it, but I don't remember when I started doing it. No. Oh, he's there. I was right. It was like 80. So he's clearly carrying a great sword, but he drops a katana. Got him. Yeah, he also has a very low chance of dropping what I want. And also, Vaughn, you aren't healing us, so I suppose 40% is too low. You definitely need that map out to navigate this small area. What are you doing? Excuse me, you don't get to get away you don't get away with that. You don't get to do that to my party member and just leave. Bye Vaughn, sorry to leave you behind. You look tired. But this is looking like the end of it for now. At least for tonight. Another week to lightning, but I'm gonna just get them all going. No, I do enough damage. Doesn't matter. Nice.
Okay. Well, that's it for tonight. Thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully the next time it'll be a bit longer, but yeah. See ya.